You know, this is gonna sound like a very uh, old man opinion. I was, I mean, you could just use like a Markov chain to come up with everything I say now. Because I was gonna say I was talking about it in an Isaac episode recently. And then like, yeah. you just roll the dice, what comes next? I'm old and blah blah, you know, like it's just, it's all programmatically derived. But anyway, I was talking about like, you know, I have tinnitus to some extent. And I don't even <laughs> listen to stuff that loudly. Like, you know how on Android, when you crank your music, it's like, hey, don't crank it too hard or you're gonna get tinnitus. I'm way below the tinnitus threshold, and I still have tinnitus, to some extent. And yeah. uh, so I was mentioning, like, you know, to the younger generation, like, hey, if you're listening to this, turn your friggin' music down, or you're gonna get tinnitus. And then, I feel like every place we go is so loud, we have to shout all the time to hear each other. Like yeah. we're just trying to have a have a couple drinks and eat some nachos, and then uh, they're like, you know what would make this even better is if there was music playing at 110 decibels, <laughs> at all times. I really do not like background music when I'm like, I like it when I'm doing something on the computer. I don't like it when I'm out and about. I don't want to hear it. So I, even at parties, like, I don't like loud music in the background of parties. I feel you. I hear you. Just like. Go do stuff. Why do you need music? Yeah, but I don't, like, don't most people feel like us? I know the easy answer is no, but I don't think that that's fair. Here feel like us. I, I feel like, like, when I talk to people, they're largely like, yeah, you know what I don't love about this really awesome restaurant is the fact that we have to shout to be heard. I feel like most people... Oh, that, oh yeah, at a restaurant, for sure. It's insane to me whenever we have to shout at a restaurant to, like, hear each other. But a bar, I think, is a bit different. Sometimes. But why? No, I mean I agree with you. I know, but like, different... but the hypothetical why? <laughs> I don't. The rhetorical know, actually. why? Actually, because loud stuff makes you want to get drunk. I don't think that's true. It makes you want to dance. Dance makes you want to get drunk. I don't know, man. <sighs> make you want me to feel good. Why you make me feel good? <laughs> My alley <laughs> there. <laughs> oh. I don't know. I mean, like, people go to bars, I guess, like, they're gonna keep doing it. Yeah, but I don't... I don't know, man. I'll stop doing it when you stop <laughs> laughing. I, like, the place we were at in Pittsburgh, it was almost like a chicken in the egg. Like, I had to get drunk just to tolerate how loud it was. <laughs> Maybe that's the sales pitch, is you yeah, walk in I'm and saying. you're like, man, I'm uncomfortable because it's so loud. Sure, I'll take yeah. a... Yeah, you know what? Make it a double. And then Numb you, the pain. Exactly. It's kind of same. It's like uh, you know, you're a socially awkward party. You don't know anybody. Well, I'm just, it's all just get blasted. You know? Valid point. Bars. I'd say that's right. It's just what it is. Stupid anyway. I kind of agree. So, like, I know again, it's an exaggerated opinion. But like, it it is like the easiest business, right? Like, you only go there for alcohol. What and else are you going there for? Nachos. True, nachos. That's a bar and grill, though, isn't it? Well, and they gotta serve food legally. You know, if you have alcohol at your establishment, it's gonna sell itself. Like, nobody ever walks into a place and is like, what's this? <laughs> well, I don't know. At the how's, same time, like... How's the rum? There's apparently, like, you know, an environment we don't understand about bars that can make or break them, I guess. I guess competition, but like, yeah. But at the same time, yeah, like we, when we were walking around Boston, we weren't really looking for a specific bar. We were just going to bars. Bo Boston F. F and the only yeah. bars we left were the ones that wouldn't serve alcohol to us. That's true. I've been to Boston like three times, I think. Place sucks. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me thrice, shame on whoever the mayor <laughs> of the place is. <sighs> you know, it's probably a tough business because people keep stealing all their glassware all the time. Dude. Not due to you, but due to Boston. Like, that's why we liked the fucking Fenway Bar. Yeah. They had really quiet music. They did have quiet music. Oh, yeah. And was there really was a chill. window in the men's bathroom, so you could see your friend's table when you were pissing. Dude. Yeah. I never went pee in there. So what? You can see when they're putting uh, hot Dude, sauce I can't in your drink. Pee when people are looking at me. <laughs> Yeah, but you're, they're, they're not looking at your at your D, they're looking at your Doesn't eyes. Matter. Just look down friend. at your D, then yeah. you can't see that they're looking at you looking at your D. Dude, I just I can't do it. 
can't I, be done. Dude, I, I'll, I'll sympathize with you, because I must, I'll wait for a stall in, like, any context, mm -hmm. essentially. Unless it's a dire circumstance. Men's bathrooms are very, very... What's the word? Like, um... They're malevolently designed. And I, a lot of people are going to be like, well, why don't you just get over it? But, like, they're not designed to be hospitable to the user. They're designed to be as, like, brutalist as possible. Hey, here's a big fucking trough that you just go piss in next worst. to everybody else. Hey, you know, here's urinals, but there's no dividers between them. You know, I, I just don't understand, like... Why why can't you just oh. give us more stalls? I you just... know what would be worse than a trough? If it was just like a a massive circular bowl thing. You're all just pointed <laughs> right at, <laughs> at each other. That's really true. Do people in Charlie, like, why do you care? I I'm gonna be honest, it's not that I don't like peeing in front of people or that I'm nervous. I literally physically cannot. Yeah. I cannot pee. It's not like a mental thing. It's a physical thing. I cannot pee. People are gonna... I understand. It, it I'm with problem. you, dude. I'll, I'll tell the story. This was a problem when I had to take a drug test mm. for my last uh, job. I literally failed the drug test because I couldn't pee in a cup because the doctor has to watch you pee in the cup. Man, what were you ben, on? Drink I, so I, I was there for two water. hours. I drank like... He was like, okay, go. Well, you know what? This, is, this has happened sometimes. Go drink some water. And couldn't do it i had the same thing uh fuck literally like the exact same situation i when i flew to korea they give you a drug test to make sure you're not coming in with like well drugs in your system or also stds and uh you know they were like just go ahead and pee into this cup and i was like all right and then i just couldn't and then i drank like i don't know probably like eight or nine of those little paper cups full of water until my bladder was like i'm gonna explode and then uh then I peed, but still, <laughs> it was uncomfortable. Yeah, no, I when it, when I left and like, uh, luckily I knew the guy who was hiring me, so he was like, you know, I don't care, he failed the drug test, whatever. But uh, well, when we left, I, I my my, I, my mom came to pick me up because she was driving me around Houston at the time, uh, and I was like, pull over, I have to pee so bad, <laughs> I, I, I I need to go pee now. Like I've been drinking water for two hours. Went and like literally pissed for like two minutes straight. Nice. Ridiculous. I was having at PAX East, or man, no, sorry, it was PAX West. Uh, we were having a couple drinks with some designers, you know, like game designers, and they were talking about the PAX bathrooms and how poorly designed they were. And I was like, "You guys are finally putting into words like what I've felt for my whole life." Is they were like, "There's no dividers. If you just put up dividers, it's like a piece of wood in two brackets. It, it would yeah. probably cost you like less than." Even like being exorbitant, it's like less than 200 bucks a, a divider. You would probably get like 1.25 times the rate of people coming through and peeing. The bathroom would be so much more efficient if you just gave them the slightest bit of privacy. But instead, they're like, nah, we're just going to design it to be as like, we, like, we don't want you to linger. We don't want you to loiter here. Why do they want more people peeing? I, I mean, it's hospitable, I guess. It's a convention center, so... You know, people not pissing on the floor probably saves them a little bit in janitorial cost. You want to know the, like, fucking discrepancy between, like, my boss and, like, our office, which is, like, kind of, like, everyone's boss for the company, for that drug test I had to take? When I, when I couldn't, when I, when I failed the drug test, the, uh, my, my boss was like, you know, it's fine, whatever, we'll, I'll talk to the office and we'll, like, we'll, we'll deal with it. But the office was like, no, he has to take the drug test. You know, if he can't do it, then, you know, we'll just give him a fuck. What do they call a, a catheter? You know, and, and, <laughs> oh, my and, God. You know, and I'm proud yeah. to be in a and I'm this is like an 80 year old lady working in the office. She's a total fucking bitch. Nobody likes her. Like even my boss is like, just ignore her. We'll we'll deal with it. And it was just like, <laughs> how obsessed there later. are you with like doing things by the book? This is a small company. It was not a big company. A fucking piss yeah. fiend. <laughs> Hello, Corey and Justin, by the way. Hi. Hello. Hello. And Bear. And Piss Fiends, I all of them. Wow. I swear I checked the Discord two seconds ago. I did not see Bear Taffy. Hello, Bear. Hi. Hey, Brian was saying Brian. you're really bad at Halo. I was only saying it because Malf <laughs> said it. Who said it first? <laughs> it was Ooh. Malf, honestly. <laughs> Malf. I only said it because I was trying to see how he felt about Malf. it. Malf. And 
It was you it. Think I was. I'm a nice I'm a guy. <laughs> you think I'm a nice guy, don't you? No, I, I think you're bad at, at the Halo guy. Is wow. The guy I think oh, you. Oh, you <laughs> I'm gonna hurt your feelings. What's the best weapon <laughs> when in the Halo? When the game man? comes out, I'm gonna beat you so bad you feel bad about yourself. You can't it's... because I won't, I don't buy bad games, so you couldn't beat me. Oh, at it. What's Dang. the best I don't weapon think in Halo? Bear. I'm fine. <laughs> it's a test. Rocket launcher. Nope, wrong. It's the uh, <laughs> needler. Grenade. It needler. is the needler. You're right, actually. Yeah, you're... <laughs> Oh. Yep, mm. you guys, how do you guys did you hear any of the bathroom discussion we were talking about yeah how do you feel i did about not it? how big your dick how do i feel about it <laughs> yeah what, it's all right what, what part there was a lot i a lot well what do you feel about the architecture of most male bathrooms i mean most male bathrooms have have a divider right so like, I, it doesn't no matter. i'd say it's 50 50 best i would Urinals? say 50 50 too yeah yeah it depends really? on where you are i think in bars it's a lot less common to have dividers yeah, yeah that would make sense I don't go to many bars. But if you go to like the airport, well, I mean, at least they don't they don't cut a giant hole in the side of most stalls. Yeah, that's insane. So for anybody <laughs> who's not familiar with the lore of the Washington State Convention Center, the ground floor bathrooms do have a window cut out of the stall so that they can watch you shit. <laughs> I didn't like, know that. not a window either. It's like why have a wall at all? It's the like from basically like where you'd sit down on the stall from like where yes. your legs are to like what? Like, <laughs> and now all of a sudden just... everybody in chat who was like, well, oh, I don't see how it's a problem is like, hold up, now that <laughs> that's not okay. Oh, why are you worried about people watching your shit, chat? <clears throat> yeah, so in the same bathroom where they have like a sharps container, you know, to like dispose of your needles, they have oh. a stall with a window in it so you don't use your needles. Yes, correct. The only people who don't want to be watched while they're shitting are the ones that have something to hide. If you don't oh, have yeah. anything to hide, you shouldn't have a problem with <laughs> people watching your shit. I just need the needles to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't shit without them. They're my shitting needles. My shitting needles. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if you could like just stick a like stick well, something in your butt and plunge it up? <laughs> no. Like just syringe out your poop? No. Nah, not that cool. I think oh, so, yeah. You can get rid of the toilet. I, like, you had so few good options from the conversation we just had. Like, <laughs> don't you wish you had something that had to do with shit and needles? Like, no, I don't think, like, those two combinations I mean, it wouldn't of things be like a anything good. It's like, you should just jam something up your ass to take care of that stuff. Dude, I have like, <laughs> almost no, no problem no. with needles whatsoever, and there are still, like, almost no use cases where I would use a needle willingly. Like, if I had diabetes yeah. and I needed life-saving insulin, I would, I'd inject myself. Apart from that, nah. I don't mean to super pivot, but is there a high-pitched hum coming through Ryan's Dude, microphone it's the, for you guys? the vacuum in our apartment is on about 18 hours a day. Okay. <laughs> you just learn to filter it out. You, you ever wonder why I've lost about 40 IQ points over the course of the last six years? is six-person Discord calls while playing a game with the vacuum constantly <laughs> on and the other It just, it, all of your brain glycogen just hits zero as quickly hey, as Ryan, possible. When when did you first get diagnosed with tinnitus? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not diagnosed. <laughs> vacuum cleaner? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't, the vacuum, I can't, uh, I can't give them any flack how, for that. How bad is your tinnitus? It's bad enough that I, I definitely, Probably like 90% of the reason I sleep with audio on is to ignore the tinnitus. Wow. Oh, I you're like hear. baby driver. Can I get lion babies in chat, please? <laughs> lion baby, uh, <laughs> yaw babes? I was going to say it's bad enough that we hear it through his mic. Because I can hear it if I focus on it, even when other sounds are playing. But I don't know. When I'm, I, I've gotten like good at ignoring it when I'm not, when there's nothing going on. I'm, I don't know about you guys, but I'm like constantly... Here's horny? my impression of myself. Uh, uh, constantly horny, yeah. But yeah. beyond that, it's um, here's Hell my impression yeah. of me. Hey, can you turn that down a little bit? <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> I do it all. I just walk around and be like, you know that? Why well, you got the TV on 15? You could live with it on eight. That would be fine. <laughs> yeah, that's Damn, I'm like what, 15. I do that with my parents too. I'm like, what's up? But I guess it's probably just hearing. The, the only people that do that now, I guess I should realize, are the folks that now have tinnitus that are trying to prevent those of us that don't have it from getting it. Exactly. I uh, My hearing sucks. And it's from all the years of 
like going to shows and playing yeah. in bands and yeah, using your plugs. Dude, well, like, okay. I feel like to enjoy TV, it this has to be loud enough that my neighbors can definitely hear Oh, I hate that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, my roommates listen to movies and TVs at a, a volume that vibrates the floor, and I'm just like, yeah. you, you don't need it to be that loud. I feel like I could typically feel what I'm watching. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, That's I once what, went to a, a concert in a basement where a ska oh, yeah. band played, and I was standing right next oh, to, like, no. amplifying right to a horn. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's <laughs> where they were blowing a trumpet into a mic. The trumpet! And, like, yes, dude, uh, I was... I've, I... Like almost fainted. It like vibrated my ear at such a frequency that I was like, Ugh. Yeah, dude. I I saw Neurosis a few years back mm. and made the mistake of standing right in front of like a wall of forty speakers. And no one else was there. It was right next to the front of the stage. I'm like, this is great, look at all these fools. Nope. They started playing and it felt like it felt like I got hit by a truck. It was it was the <laughs> most surreal feeling. Mm, but it, it sucks. It felt it, like you know when you're underwater and you can't tell up from down? That's how yeah. it felt. Dude, your ears are like no joke. Messes with your balance, messes with your, yeah. uh, like, your nausea. It's bad. Heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. I still maintain the closest I came, maybe not to death, but to, like, hospitalization was the time Modest Mouse played in Kingston. And then freaking uh, Ale House is too cheap to turn on the air conditioning, even though there's, like, 3,000 people crammed into their place in July. And then it was just, like, the loudest place I've ever been in my entire life as well. I just came home and like turned on the AC. It took my shirt off and sat in front of it for like an hour trying not to throw up. <laughs> I uh, I try not to throw up when you take your shirt off too. <laughs> <laughs> it was really awkward too, because then like, uh, well you know Mike Tall Mike. Yeah yeah yeah. He he and his girlfriend came by and were like, "How'd you like the show?" And I was like, "I'm dying. Please get out of my room." But instead, I just made polite conversation. How many mics do you know? Dude, I don't like a lot. At least like, eight or nine easy. mics are in our friends like That's circle. Of friends. I've got. That's days. actually why it's weird when he refers to me as Mike, because I'm like, yeah. Why I do you think we call him Mel? Heard that before. Yeah. What little Bo Peep would confess if she got really drunk? Her name is actually Jeanette Smith, or she didn't lose her sheep; they ran away. Feels He's bad, man. Dead. I do like the Justin said. Great. I've got Dave's. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I feel like that I've was like so scrolled many. over. I've got so many Daves and Toms. Toms? The old hey, Dave yeah. Tom. Man. Oh, Dave Thomas? Yo, yeah! Wait. Spicy <laughs> yeah, chicken sandwich. Go. Yeah, what's your guys' take on the uh, the Baconator? We were talking about that. Oh, I've never eaten it. It just one. seems so unappetizing to me. It's yeah, egregious. excessive. It's too much. I don't even really like bacon in general, though. Like, I'll, I'll have breakfast bacon and that's all tasty, but like I don't really like putting bacon on stuff. Dude, this is so hey, For weird. me, it's got to be crispy, though. I Make up a name. Not. Make up a name for asylum film porno from the 1920s. Flapjacks or the Wispy Flapper? What? <laughs> I guess when you think of the 20s, you think of the flappers. They were just flapping a lot back then. <laughs> <laughs> the Wispy Flapper. That that's a 20s name, definitely. <laughs> Can I say, I've been watching, I said it earlier, I've been watching uh, Quiplash highlights from years ago. Oh, years yeah, ago. yeah. It was so nice seeing like 800 people in the audience and yeah. like, so many people yeah. voting. Can we have one of those days? Can we get people voting? That'd be nice. Yeah, I heard if you vote, you get a free month of Twitch Prime. Mm -hmm. And a free month of Twitch Prime is a free year of Nintendo Online, so... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's a deal. The first thing a pig would say if it could talk, where's the beef or the old ones have arisen? I was trying to be sentimental and chat said no, so uh, fuck you chat, go vote. Yeah. That's what they like, right? They like that. But only they if like they're gonna to vote for my at. guy. No, man, I'd hate it if they joined and voted. Fuck them. Corey, when's your citizenship test, yourself. dude? The 24th. Dude, that's soon. That's the day before okay. Endgame. 8.20 a.m. Oh, okay. Got a good pop quiz question for you. Ready? Yeah. What was Canada called before it was called Canada? Adnac. <laughs> <laughs> He's that, that, dude, quit like spoiling. Like, now that was North, it. He got it. North, North. North. Wesley Cummins. Wesley Cummins. A bad thing to say to your date's parents. I probably won't have her back, or you guys smell <laughs> like I imagined. That's really good. Oh, both are really good. Corey, who was the uh, first prime minister of Canada? 
You asked me this already. It's John A. McDonald. Wrong. Sir, Sir John, John A. McDonald. A. Sir, whatever. Oh, fuck Listen, off. it's a multiple choice test. Who were the? What were the first four provinces in the Dominion of Canada? The Dominica. Um, I don't know. Nebraska, Wyoming, yeah. yeah. Quebec. Uh, excuse me. Upper Canada, K-Nick. Lower Canada. Oh, yeah, that's true. And Nova Hawaii. Scotia, New Brunswick, I think. I don't know. Yeah, been... Whatever. We were born here. We don't have to know this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get it by the I'll screw in it. The, just... And the Dodgers. That's the fourth one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll screw it. Just type in something dirty. <laughs> Come shit needles or throat abscess? Throat abscess made me feel horrible. Just yeah, like, I told them about that earlier, Justin. Mm, <sighs> oh, yeah, Justin, you hear about the peanut butter girl? <laughs> peanut butter girl. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> What happens? Who's the peanut butter? I won't tell it again. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a very real story that definitely <laughs> happened. <laughs> Those are my favorite. I told you guys about the time I had to get a giant polyp removed from the inside of my nostril, right? Oh, never, oh. never heard that. I'm pretty sure I've told you about it. It was pretty horrible, dude. That thing was like blocking up the whole passageway. How'd you notice and that you had it? Well, I mean, I noticed it gradually because, like, when it began, I thought it was just kind of like a scab or something. Because, yeah. you know, you get scabs up in there all the time. Yeah, yeah. It just all got gradually worse. And, well, yeah. Do you know what's going on? Now and then, yeah. Okay, not all the time. Yeah, but he'll get one every now. I had one get to the point where it was, like, growing more. And I was like, that's unusual. Yeah. So I uh, eventually, I contact my mother, who is a nurse, and I ask her all about it. And she's like, oh, that looks like a polyp. you got to get that removed. Mm. Dude, it's not a good story. So if you want to stop me here, that's fine. Dude, what is a polyp? A polyp? It's it's a growth. You know, I couldn't tell you exactly what it is. It's like a growth that's filled with all kinds of weird, goopy fluids. It's like and... bad flesh, right? Yeah, I guess yeah, that, like that's a, a good way to describe it. Your, your body flesh. made like a copy and paste error somewhere and just kept going? <laughs> uh, I just... Two, two things. One, we got a lot of names for, you know, things filled with goop on the body, right? Uh, number two, it must be convenient having a nurse for a mom. Yeah, oh, dude. absolutely. That must be amazing. Yeah, Good it night, is nurse. really. It's relieving to be able to be like, should I worry about this? And she's like, nope. And you don't have to think you have cancer for a week or two until you get to the doctor. It's great. Dude, I'm fast. I don't the one. I don't feel so good about it. Mr. Stark. Anyway, bad flesh growing up yeah. in there, dude. It was no good. <laughs> Didn't want it around, around okay, anymore, so I don't. schedule an appointment. First up, I go in there. It's gotten pretty bad turtle. by this point. Like I straight up couldn't breathe through that passageway. Okay, I was I was no. down to one nostril, and uh, to get it out, they had to numb me in that area. But to numb me in the inside of my nostril, guess where a needle has to go? Your penis. Uh, yep. Mouth. Up through the gums. Goes no, I got it. It's ear his penis. Through your ear canal? No, no, no. It goes. You just po poke that little bridge between your nostrils there. Poke that oh! kind of little thing. Oh. Now imagine a needle slowly going up inside Bam, there to introduce some anesthetic into your brain. I'm gonna issue a stop that. It's been a while. <laughs> I haven't pierced, so I'm not next. that freaked out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah even pierced that, that direction. <laughs> Not that direction. <laughs> all the way up to the top. Yeah, just all the way up to the top of my head. How Yogi Bear though. eventually meets his death. Self-erotic asphyxiation or jellystone eruption? Self-erotic asphyxiation. He's jerking off to a picture of himself. <laughs> He's really into himself. Yo, he, speaking of self-erotic asphyxiation, did you guys see that... A uh, machine they made in China that jerks off dudes too embarrassed to jerk themselves off at the sperm donation <laughs> clinic. What are the rules? Is it just like a big elbow that goes back and forth? I, it looks like a floor air conditioner unit, and then it has like an eldritch mouth that just like pulsates <laughs> and also obviously thrusts in and out. Oh my <laughs> fucking god, that rules. <laughs> I, I'm just trying to imagine who's like, nah, I'm too embarrassed to you to jerk off here. That's it's, more embarrassing than yes. jerking off. Can you get yeah, out the just, blowjob machine? People are just going to start lying. That's what like, I was oh, thinking. I want to fuck, fuck that robot. robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. If you don't have extra money, an odd thing to use is a tip for your waiter. Tiny kisses or a photo of yourself frowning? Ooh, the tiny kisses. <laughs> tiny little kisses. <laughs> <laughs> It's also, they said it's adjustable, so like, it, it has like oh. a pressure 
a oh. slider and like a warmth slider and you know intensity etc they basically built like <laughs> like a, a cum chassis what's everyone's position on robot fucking yeah it's like it could be like you know what's your sleep number or it could be like what's your cum number and then put like <laughs> An entry in Teenage Fuck. Tarzan's Diary. Today I Tarzan, or today I Tarzan her Jane. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> I can't believe we had the same idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's slightly differently. It's oh, no. the same entry every single day. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is a... Your get out the vote campaign works. We got like 500 yeah. audience now. There we go. Oh, vote or die, motherfuckers! Corey, do you? Does this mean if you pass your citizenship test, you get to vote this year? Time to vote. Uh, I don't know if it means this year, but I think I have to vote. What? Wait, isn't that like a duty of the kids? I mean, like. <laughs> The name of a painting Michelangelo was ashamed he created. The pristine polyp or the shit steen crapple? Man. The shit steen crapple, Justin. Oh, a bad, bad name, name for a oh, hospital. hospital. Shake Shack or Lamau? Mm. Mm. Thanks for saying Lamau. I felt so isolated when I, when I, you know, put myself out there like that, pronouncing it that way. I use Lamal all the time. Thank you. Like, for example, when I go into Mouth's chat and I say, hey, nice uh, two by two box. How long did that take you to make? And he says three hours. I go, Lamal, dude. Mm -hmm. Or I, when uh, you're at a Lamau. restaurant, you're like, can I get a Coke Zero? Yeah. <laughs> and then the, Lamau. the waitress goes to the fridge, pulls out a Coke Zero, and looks at it like it's some kind of Indiana Jones <laughs> artifact, puts it back, grabs another one, and then comes to the table. This is a fun game. Dude, it's Quiplash. I only, like, I only said that because I'm winning. Yeah, I'm losing. Dude, well, games are more fun when you win. Lash. Yeah, I, I only like playing Magic when I win. Oh, that's 100% true. Like, any time I lose, the person that beat me is just the worst person. Like, they, they suck. There's nothing worse than in-person Magic where the other guy gets off like... Well, other person, but let's be honest. Usually it's a guy. And he gets off like some kind of nerd wombo combo that his whole deck is built around and he's like jerking off and he's like And I get a draw and that's a Niv-Mizzet trigger and the Niv-Mizzet trigger I do one damage to the planeswalker and having done that damage the lightning field doubles oh, the damage It's all real though! He's yeah. saying real things! And he that knows. gets a Niv-Mizzet trigger and I flip ah, over this card God damn Niv -Mizzet. I choose to play it for an exile, and then I get another card up at the top, and you're, and he's like, like looking at you, like, huh, 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 and you're like, yeah, you got me. Yeah, are you finished? Yeah, I concede. <laughs> <laughs> Something the devil is afraid of: taxes, Niv Mizzet, John Wick, Georgia, pooping in the window stall, or jerking off at the sperm bank. <laughs> It's like my maybe the the quickest meme answer ever. Like Niv Mizzet was out within five seconds. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, but whoever wrote it didn't realize Niv Mizzet doesn't have an apostrophe. It has a dash. <laughs> there. Oh, shit. No way. <laughs> yep. It does have a. Ah, oh, it's hyphenated. No. <laughs> that was like a falling away no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh no. I just don't. Have any respect for you if you play mono red? Like, <laughs> you just you don't want you don't want to have fun. You just want to win. What about green red? That's fine. That's respectable because it's usually absolutely. Bad. What about mono green? Absolutely fine. I don't cool, think cool, that's. Cool, cool. I, I mean, I don't know the meta, but I'm pretty sure yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's why I play green red. Oh Actually, God. don't. Jerking off at the sperm bank. Thirty-eight percent of the vote. Wow. Common fear. Oh, I didn't vote. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna have another election in four years, anyways. So. Yeah, you know, I'll get there then. <laughs> oh, Justin Usurps Bear. Mm. Usurps oh, Bear. Wow. This game sucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this game <is. laughs> Dude, I don't want to do a blind quip because our focused visual clip was quip was pretty good that time. 
Uh, yeah. You're setting a high, a high bar now, though. I mean, that was, yeah. those were good answers. Yeah, no, I think we're going to do okay. It's just yeah. last resort. Like, if, yeah. if this yeah. round goes poorly, then, you know. Well, you know, man, you know, I'm feeling good, actually. Expectations are up. The audience is in here. We got a good quip going on. Yeah. Can we do, like, a, do like a glaucoma? I don't have glaucoma anymore, so we can joke about it. Just like, you don't anymore? No. Where'd it go? I, they never called me, so I'm, I'm glock free. Glock free? <laughs> what if they're just waiting? What, to like my birthday? That'd be fun, all right? It would be fun. Love to get called on your birthday. Who is it? Oh, it's the eye doctor. Surprise, you got glaucoma. Here's your present, it's eye drops. Mm. Uh, did mm. someone just fart? <laughs> no, I didn't hear it. I thought I heard a muffled fart. <laughs> Dude, I, it's not me. I left my fart muffler in my uh, bedside drawer. Then we'd actually hear you fart louder if you Exactly. Did that. So if you heard it quietly, it can't be me. I only have gotcha. two fart settings. Quiet or ear ripping. <laughs> I just decided to decide decided to stop farting years ago. How did you do it? <laughs> Cuz like just don't do it, dude. Dude, I still fart probably upwards of 30 times a day. <laughs> That's too so, much, dude. I feel like I always hold my farts in. Because I'm usually alive, and I'm like, well, I don't want to yeah. be the fart guy. So oh my god. I uh, I hold my farts in all day, but Babs told me that often in my sleep, I fart, <laughs> and then I start cracking up. <laughs> yeah, I think boy. that's really funny. That's that's I don't get too into it, but... I think that's really good. That is good. You get it, brother. Uh, you tell me though that you're cracking one out like once every 25 minutes. That's, I mean, off oh. off camera, I would say. I mean, there are hours where I could probably fart 15 times. Yeah. I think you might need to stop. It, dude, it's been like this since no. uh, <laughs> even in high life. school. I was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say. Next I don't, do. people are like, poor Kate. That's no, I don't, like, I'm polite about it. I go to the bathroom, close the door, turn on the fan, fart, and then get out as quickly as possible. <laughs> what you gotta do is you sit on the toilet and fart while flushing so it what? sucks fart <laughs> into the pipes. How Wait, did you what? have this answer ready? Ow. What's actually Ow. causing global warming? Ryan's farts, fart, fart, or YouTube gamers screaming so down, so damn loud. Did you inject this answer? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm now, trying to if you so guys are in, you are on a basal level. Mouth seeded the answer before by asking, did somebody fart? He set the stage. Uh, Holy shit. Right. You've known him for a lot longer than I us. Did, dude, just I'm so extremely wild. mad, too, because YouTube gamers screaming so damn loud. It's Ob really good. Objectively, it's a better answer. No, I don't know. I, I couldn't don't know. fart, fart. Yeah, I'll empathize a little bit because I'm I'm a burpy boy. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I barely I burp, burp at all. So maybe that's what it is. I'm just I'm burping it all out. You're getting it out the other end. <laughs> the crime you would commit if you could get away with it. Nice try, cops, or steal a friend's Twitch subs. T top right, by the way. Yeah, top ah. right, by the way. Turbo two. Turbo two. Nice try, cops. Justin. Nice try, cops is really good. No, it's not you. <laughs> no. no. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> That's something the cops would say. <laughs> 69%. It's a true quiplash. Oh, yeah. A surprising new part of the field sobriety test requires you to blank to prove you're not drunk. Fuck a robot to prove you're not drunk or not sing along to don't stop believing. <laughs> well, that's yeah, I I change the radio when I hear that song. Come on, oh, same dude. Bl 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 thing. You know, it was a robot when I hear it's that. Good song. at one point, but <laughs> yes. I feel like we should remove "Don't Stop Believing" on the radio and replace it with "Foreplay Long Time." That's a good idea, actually. It's I wasn't with you until you said that. Song. Same energy. It, it it's an inspirational song, way less overplayed. Because it's, it's too long the song for the said? radio. Four play long uh, time. Four play Probably long it's time? like yeah. You, you like, there, what's would hate it, honestly. <laughs> Not for me. I'm just saying that's what the record executives and the, 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 they all yeah. Say. Well, they'd have to cut out four play for sure. Yeah, absolutely. It's yeah, incredibly yeah, rude that. <laughs> to overthrow the bourgeoisie with your mouth open or to come with your mouth open. I'm trying to think now. If I open or close my mouth when I go. <laughs> oh my god. I'm really not sure. It depends on the context. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. You got. 
Yeah, yeah like, are you breathing you in? You want to elaborate? Breathing out? <laughs> well, I just mean, like, a mouth closed. Come is kind of like a weird, weird way to do it. Yeah, I, th I think it'd be super weird to come with your mouth closed. You trying to surprise somebody? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 it's incredibly rude to come with your mouth open, or it's incredibly rude to throw up profusely all over Times Squares. <laughs> I don't know why that's so I don't know why it got me so good too. Excuse me, sir. Which way to get to Times Squares? <laughs> Oh, fuck me, Next man. One. That's funny. I'm trying to wonder now, though. I usually keep my mouth open or closed. Definitely open. Always Definitely open. open, always open. Probably, like, well, that's why it's so funny, is because, like, everyone comes with their yeah. mouth open. <laughs> but the next time you do it, you're going to think about it. I <laughs> know, it's freaking me it's out, It's going to ruin the orgasm completely. Fun a fun play trick play to play on the Pope. Eat hat or sneak a condom <laughs> onto his dick. <laughs> 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 These are both great. <laughs> At what point do you think he'd notice, though? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> you know. I don't want to answer that because it it's just <laughs> invites too many jokes that are really, really bad to think about. Do you think the Pope comes with his mouth open? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows, dude. Dude, how fucked up is it? There were like 10 popes that were named Innocentius. Like, you're trying too hard. I'm glad the new pope is named Jude Law. That's a lot easier to remember. <laughs> Who is the pope now? Is it still Benedict? Pope Francis. So. Is it, what, they, they had John Paul II, and then there was one dude who after like a year was like, I don't want it anymore. Oh yeah, I remember that. I think that was, yeah, it, it is Francis now, apparently. Probably learned that before oh, I God, go on a show that might ask you a question along those lines. For zero dollars, who is the current pope? <laughs> Just to make sure you can really, you know, hang with the best here. Pope Francis is dope. How? I mean, I bet he's, he's like, like a, yeah, he's decent, but like, yeah, he tweets some nice things sometimes. Yeah. You know? He's, he cares about the environment and stuff, too. A lot, actually. It's cool, bro. No, he's not cool. Okay, my bad. Sorry. <gasps> he's actually awful? Even better. Oh, what, he's, is he a the, fan of Tom or, Brady or something? <laughs> <laughs> that thing. He hates women? Well, it, it, maybe he's just protecting himself because of the vow of celibacy sort of thing. say he hates women or he hates swimming? <laughs> he, he hates swimming. <laughs> <laughs> you got. <laughs> oh, he hates swimming. He does. <laughs> he just doesn't so like good. the sharks out there. On the 147th day of, On Christmas, the 147th my day of Christmas, my true love gave to me okay. a big warm glass of pee or <laughs> alimony. Is it, is it Justin? Why do you always think pee is related to me? Because because it is yours, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of days of Christmas, dude. I don't blame him, honestly, at that point. What yeah. the fuck do you have left to give to people? I was very entitled to still expect the gift um, for Christmas on, it's like... It's like June 12th, yeah. you asshole. Yeah. It's, it's over. At what point does it start okay. over? A, a polite way, way to say booger. booger. Snot, nugget, or done. boogie woogie. The Pope started hating <laughs> women after Matt Pat gave him a copy of Undertale. <laughs> and he became a gamer. Oh that is a great answer. That is a, that's a, that might be the funniest comment I've ever read in any chat on Twitch. <laughs> you know what's really good? Uh. Ryan just solemnly commented on how funny it was <laughs> instead of laughing at it. Hey, someone's got to have some decorum around here. This is humorous. The hit song from the Broadway show Fart the Musical. Life stinks, and I like it. Or Ryan. God damn it. Why isn't that guy streaming? Yeah. He's a lot funnier than us. Dude, you're telling me. You know what rules about being in this business is that, like, you don't even have to be entertaining as long as you have viewers. You just get to read your chat people being funny. <laughs> I, well, I just mean like the funniest person in the world could start streaming and they would still get like no viewers. 
That's true, actually. Meanwhile, all we have to do is we can go live, and people in chat are like, what's your favorite pizza topping? And you're like, meh, pepperoni. Yeah. And they're like, Pepperoni right. sucks! <laughs> so top, top right, good answer. A street name you never see. Fuck street. Or more butts. That's where I lived. You lived it's on Fuck Street? The doxing. I lived on <laughs> Fuck Street. Dude, I was eating a cheese earlier. A cheese? A cheese? Like a you cheese. said a Sorry, cheese. I did say yeah. a cheese. A cheese stick. Is, oh, I okay. Yeah. Oh, no. Not yeah. you, too. <laughs> he's, he's from Philly. They love those cheese Dude. sticks there. Philly. Philly <laughs> cream cheese sticks. Yeah. My, my cat was like pawing at me. Yeah. Right? He's like, oh, I want the cheese. I want the cheese. And Why like, is he Italian? <laughs> I want the cheese. <laughs> that was <laughs> your. You, Italian thing? you yelled in Italian. <laughs> Why did you give me the cheese? <laughs> <laughs> you know, give me the cheese, and then he—he's like, no, give me that fucking cheese. Oh, okay. oh God! He jumped on me and clawed my shirt, gun? and I got a big old hole in my shirt. <laughs> oh, God. One Someone day, right, doubled down this. on life stinks. <laughs> well, it it's right. better the second time. <laughs> it's Old Town right. Road or life stinks, and I like it. Now I want cheese. Yeah. Giving me the, giving me the cheese. Give me the cheese. <laughs> I, locked, I locked the cat out of the room, man. I got a big old hole. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, give him some kibbles and bits. Yeah, you can't give him the cheese. He's gonna get a wet butthole. He's gonna. We've all been there. <laughs> You're not supposed to feed your cat those uh, human food, dude. Oh. They'll get a wet butthole. <laughs> a good name for a pet cemetery: a cemetery or the boneyard? Oh, a cemetery. A cemetery. Mm. A cemetery. Give me the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Jiro. Well, give me the cheese. I put you in the cemetery. <laughs> Yo, why is pet cemetery spelled wrong? You know what I mean? What? Like in the movie, why is it pet cemetery? <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah, it's like S E M A T A R Y. You ain't got no alibi. You did. Hey. Hey. Oh, because kids wrote the name cemetery on it. And that's right. I oh, why are kids no. so fucking stupid, dude? It's they so don't understand like how to write a movie. Dude, well, <laughs> have you ever seen. Uh, where are we gonna go with this one? Have you ever seen um, The Dark Knight Rises? Uh, <laughs> Wait, no. is the. the <laughs> are you sure that's where you wanted to go? <laughs> This movie's like not that good. Wait, is, so they, this movie was made like and kids wrote it is what you're saying? No, like, kids wrote the sign because they were burying their pets there and then the movie's named after the cemetery which is deliberately spelled wrong. It's, fucking stupid. it's like a pursuit of happiness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? I, I saw a comment that said the fursuit of happiness. Yeah, I know. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I went. <laughs> Your laugh was timed perfectly with it popping up. <laughs> Skinny dick, meatballs, and pee in my holes. I want to get fucked in a hidey hole. And You're going to have to explain that. Yeah, and explain. drift away. <laughs> I get it. I was just reading our chat. They Ryan, were you'll see. Skinny dick meatballs and fill my holes. That's what it is, dude. Guaranteed. <laughs> what? All right, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Where the missing sock in the dryer ends up going? Narnia, Knowhere, Socketer. That's no. Oh, Nowhere? I don't know how to Austin. say Austin. On the Pope's dick prank, the dryer's <laughs> cold foot, or Ryan? I'm going to give a vote to Ryan. Just fuck it. I like the Socketary. Yeah, really good. It's really good. It's a good Maggie Gyllenhaal movie, written by children. It's a good lyric of that song too. Secretary, 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 secretary. What is that? Secretary. Yeah, what is that though? R E S P E. Oh, that's right. They go to Narnia. I appreciate the the dead air filling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at it. I've, right, I've gotten sure. really good at it, actually. That's probably my number one skill. Is All right, everybody, really, hey, no, everybody, shut up. <laughs> All right. That was a chance bear, you fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Being a good friend. Justin's oh. so good. Just sweeping it today. Game sucks ass. <laughs> it's so bad. 
Man, I love when the top answer is Ryan's farts, fart, comma, <laughs> fart. <laughs> and then chat's like, where are the good answers? Uh, should we go blind? Dude, I thought that was still pretty good. It was! No, I'm just that suggesting. pretty good. Every time people ask for a blind quip, I get really offended. Time for round one. You'll score points. You're still funny. Yeah, but I'm funnier with my eyes open. Instead, Chad, I don't know. So. <laughs> Prove it. Just ordered some ramen. Oh, some spring rolls. Dude, fusion. Well, what kind of spring rolls, though? But like veggie or non Japanese? This is all it says. No, but like we'll meat, you got meat. Oh, fine. I don't know, dude. I just ordered some spring rolls. You know what I like wow. to do when we get gyoza at the ramen place? Masturbate. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck a robot. Wait, do you eat uh, gyoza with your eyes open or your eyes closed? <laughs> My eyes it was mouth. Close up. <laughs> um, what I do is, you know, they give you the soy sauce and the chili oil, but nah. I put it on that ramen spoon, I get a little bit of the ramen broth on it, and then I slurp it up like a soup dumpling. Ooh. Let's take a look. And then they say, sir, we told you not to do that. Sir, this is an Arby's. Yeah, there we go. Oh, here we go. A title of a self-help book for rats. Give me the cheese. Give me the cheese. Or give me the cheesy out. Give me the cheese. Oh, dude, it's so close. Yeah. Fucking three days. I'm losing it. Yeah, but then like after that episode, you just you gotta wait another week. Yeah, but then yeah, I'll, how many episodes? Seven? Six. Six. Only six. Uh, no, it's only th it's six. only three. Six. <laughs> yeah, but the third six. one is a uh, it's a clip show of the funniest parts from the previous seven seasons. <laughs> Jon Snow getting whipped in the yeah. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and the blooper reel. <laughs> a blank a day keeps the doctor away. A cheese <laughs> A death threat a day keeps the doctor away, or a cheese a day keeps the doctor away? <laughs> oh. I think I'm alone in this, but uh, another show uh, finally released another season, One Punch Man. This is like my favorite new oh. animated show. It is hilarious, and I love it. It's got this first episode out, uh, came out on Tuesday. Mm, it's on Hulu, right? Yeah. Dude, I got Hulu free with Spotify, so I'm gonna fuck hell yeah. Yeah, dude, oh. do it. Get that Why didn't they call it Two Punch Man for season yeah. two? Am I right? Or One Punch Men. <clears throat> the perfect song to hum on the toilet. <laughs> the Macarena or Bittersweet <laughs> Shit on Pee. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna, I will never lose that. It's gonna be trapped in my brain forever. <laughs> I can't change my role. No, no, no. <laughs> of, you know, like a toilet paper. That still slaps. With that come, if I hear that on the radio, I'm cranking it a little bit. Yeah, Rolling good. Stones classic. Exactly. <laughs> making a lot of money One on that. Perk of marrying a serial killer. <laughs> One perk of marrying a serial killer. Being dead or the bond of love. I mean, you, you, you're not really there if you're dead, so. Hmm? Yeah, but serial killers have a thing, right? Like, they're always you know. hot. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I've seen the documentary. <laughs> Sorry, no offense, Austin, I know it rankles you. Ted, Ted Bundy was a real cutie. You don't like Ted Bundy, Austin? Why are you pushing buttons? Why you gotta be pushing buttons, man? <laughs> <laughs> We're almost through the show. A little known nickname for New Orleans. Puke Alley or Earth Bowl? What about the, the deep lore that Ted Bundy was related to Al Bundy? Ooh, that's good deep lore. Man, I loved that show when I was a kid. Married with oh, Children. So good. Watch. Love an and marriage. Dude, there's a show that a hundred million times could not be made today. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maybe like, that's for yeah, the best. Absolutely fuck. not. Holy fuck. I like how Love when he man put his hate wife. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> when he put his hand down his pants. And you're like, yeah, yeah. Boy, get it. <laughs> oh, my God. What was his? What was that organization? No, ma'am? No, ma'am. <laughs> it was so bad. There's a legit okay, conspiracy theory that George W. Bush is up? actually Ted Bundy, and the real George W. <laughs> Bush was executed instead. 
<laughs> what? Wow. They do Damn. sort of look alike. I could I could sort of see it, but how do proctologists cheer themselves up? Engaging in a hobby they're passionate about or by fingering their bummy? That is such a wonderful <laughs> juxtaposition. Thing. Yeah, that's a beautiful uh, contrast. <laughs> 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 yeah, but does that mean George W. Bush is hot? I was oh, gonna say they're not, they're not really all that, that similar looking. Well, we can't call bad. him hot. He's a criminal. Was W uh, a hunk back in the day? I like oh, yeah. What do you mean back in the day? I got I mean I guess. Yeah, he's... Have you seen oh, him on that mountain bike? Hey, he's he's a cutie. What do you mean back in the day? <laughs> 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 That was a good W laugh right there. That was two chortles right there. <laughs> On to round two. We're Remember that's my bush. Did you ever watch that? Yeah, show? that's my bush was so fucking good. <laughs> it was so good. Ah oh, man. Presidential harassment's a real thing, guys. We should be more sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> have it hard. All that responsibility, you know. Tough job. Who could have known? Dude, my roommates uh, keep texting me like every so often, being like, "Hey, can you let the dog out? We're not gonna be home tonight." And I'm like, "Sure." Can you and let the time. dog out? <clears throat> sure. You, 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 you. And I get more annoyed by them apologizing than them asking. It's like, mm. yeah, I was just letting the dog out. It takes like, it takes like five minutes. Not right? Stop apologizing. It's did you get more annoyed by that or more annoyed by what Ryan just did? Uh, well, Saying who let the dog out. But that's, that was, I annoyed one but... person to bring entertainment to a couple dozen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you laugh, chat? Yes or no? Yeah or nay? Okay, Thank you, Ryan. Very cool. Flashing. That's all I need to know. The first there you go. Is a realistic, honest, honest fast food slogan. slogan. Mostly food, or okay, Wendy's we'll just get the favorite. spicy chicken. The real slogan should just be like, <laughs> you know, you want it. Or like, go ahead, we'll get you next time, you know? <laughs> you know you want it with like a provocative face yeah, next yeah, to yeah. it with the eyebrows or like, raising. Or like, quality is our recipe. That's a really good one. They should think, <laughs> yeah. Have it your or way. Like, I was gonna say, yeah. fuck you. You're gonna like the way you look. That's a different one. <laughs> I feel like Bear gets the most genuinely mad when someone steals his punchline. Oh, yeah. Like, that's like when I hear the most real. Something that's the, that's the anger that you're gonna hear from me when we play Halo together. <laughs> if you can qualify, Bear. Oh. <laughs> For what? Damn. Something they, you would. They like don't even to... let you play if you're not good. Enough. Something you would like to fill a swimming pool with: blue Jello or relish. Dude, did you guys see this emote combo? It's mouth point one, dang front. Wait, yeah, it's probably dang front. No, it's dang seat. Mouth point one, dang seat. Look at that, dude. Just two dudes oh, uh, putting their arms around each other's shoulders. Just embracing. <laughs> so good. Just two men without hands. <laughs> Yeah, just two men inserting their arms. <laughs> that's what docking is. Dude, that's great. Oh. And they should both be saying Yabe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next up. Well, well, one has to say Yabe. Yeah, yeah, one can say Yabe. It's not someone oh, got it already. Oh, there you go. got it. Helpful advice you would give to Super Mario? It's a you, or she's not <laughs> worth it, man. His name isn't Super Mario. <laughs> it's not to you, it's a me. So true. They're the Super Mario Brothers. No, dude. You, you ever play Mario 64? It's a me, Super Mario. <laughs> it's like being knighted. Like when the princess bakes you a cake, you're now a super. I think she the actually princess's name is Mario. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a theory. A double, a double rainbow, rainbow, rainbow doesn't, doesn't have gold, gold at the end of it. Instead, it has, it has gold gold or strips of bacon. <laughs> oh, double rainbow, yeah. gold, gold. Okay, okay, clever. Yeah, but bacon. <laughs> mm. Oh, I wonder whose answer is that one. You know, oh, yeah. uh, ooh, the narwhal bacon's at midnight. <laughs> uh, oh, I remember that. Yeah, that's how you can spot a redditor in the wild. Good old dig.com. <laughs> Fucking in the tail joke, dude. That was so <laughs> the secret to a healthy head of hair. Her suit, grandpa, or streaming on twitch.com. What? Ooh. What's, what's, you're doing it wrong. 
I didn't even notice. We gotta, <laughs> be, we gotta be on that com? Shit. <laughs> Did somebody do Lion Sai yet, Ryan? No, I should really like commission it. I, I mean, you, you know, it should be yeah. like a a sad looking me, and then a second part is like the air cloud leaving my mouth. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> yeah, two parter. Oh, why haven't More you done that already? You probably have More. like twelve fucking open slots, don't you? Yeah, uh, you know, I, it's who I lost count. Man, no. <laughs> totally won't look like as well. Oh no. Something you something you rarely see, see used as a car decoration. Airbrush mural of a Megadeth album, or Ron Jeremy. That's true. Then you could have uh, Mouth Point have a fart at the end of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah. guess there is already this uh, the dash thing. Yeah, that pretty much does it. Me and Ron are the, like, the only people left on the site who still have base sub badges. Yeah, dude. Yeah, babe. I, yeah, babe. I, yeah, babe. Damn. Not babe. I gave Ryan a good idea. He just has to do it. What was it again? It's like you basically take like lion baby is the first. Or it could just be even, even be an egg, and then you have lion baby. Lion blah, 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 yeah, but blah. there's like fucking twenty something badges now. There I probably got a picture from every year of Round my life. No <laughs> <laughs> uh, Although probably like about the last eleven of them look pretty similar, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> I didn't even realize you can actually hover over their badges now and see how long each of them have been subbed. That's kind of cool. We know all. Each one of them. Yeah, the plebeians. <laughs> the first three months. You're old. This one's gonna be a, a big hit with with them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Stop saying it. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> You know what the actual first sign that you're old is? Uh, when you injure your shoulder uh, a week and a half ago and it's only getting better now. Mm, I mean, at least it isn't just permanently hurt. Yeah, it's pretty know, messed like... up that when you hit like a certain age, if you oh. just fall down, you're like dead. Right, yeah, ready. it's just over for you. Vote away. Or you sneeze and throw your back out. It's like Tori Bash. What happened to you? <laughs> no, friend. Oh, thank <laughs> God. Okay. The first sign that you're old, the nut gets thinner. No answer. Ryan, you call it twitch.com, you pronounce it hente, or dusty comes. Dusty comes. Take me home. <laughs> dusty comes. Dusty comes. Nuggets it's dinner. I was gonna say, fudge. Wet vagina. <laughs> twitch.com. <laughs> twitch.com. Pronounce it hente. Brian. We got him all. <laughs> no answer. <laughs> I'm, you're you're right. I'm glad we didn't do a blind quip. Yeah. I didn't vote. <laughs> I just looked. And I got oh. one audience vote. <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> Oh one. my god. That is I've never seen that. It was me. Audience vote? <laughs> Damn it, one person was in there saying like, it was actually me, and that's all it takes for like a flood of people to yeah. take the claim. <laughs> that's bullshit, chat. You let me down. You know what? Just for that, I'm that's not going to stream Let's tomorrow. Let's take a look at the final scores. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's funny because he wasn't anyone. Anyway. <laughs> I don't You're know. Sure. It might depend on how the bounties shake out. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of shaking out, I got fucking shit. Oh, well, dude, why not? Dude, speaking of the... Well, okay, sorry. No, yeah, if he's got a shit, you go ahead. Oh, yeah. Why? I gotta let Babs in. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, dude. <laughs> See you later. Is this where you got the... Is it from our, our back channel mouth? Skinny dick meatballs yeah. and pee in my holes? I, I told you at the time. I said check our channel. I want to get fucked in a hidey hole and... Shit, you're gay? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't Who say that last time. <laughs> Who typed this? It's it's an old friend of ours from a long... Well, oh, I mean, he's still a friend right. of ours, but... Uh, no, he, not anymore. <laughs> Dude, let me tell you. Okay, so this is it's very selfish. I'm going to take like 45 seconds to go on my own anecdote. I had a dream last night that uh, one of the people that was in Josh's uh, wedding party, who, you know, me and Mouth know, um... He he was hanging out on his like patio, just yelling at people that went by, and I went like, "Hey, don't do that!" And he went, "Hey, just for that, like you're next." And then I don't know what happened after that, but he stole my Xbox, 
and I was like, hey, dude, give me my Xbox back. And he was like, okay, but, like, I pissed on it. And I was like, <laughs> Whoa! dude, you pissed on my Xbox? There's, like, open holes and stuff. Like, you probably, like, ruined it. And he's like, whatever, dude, take it or leave it. So I took it. That's the end of the dream. <laughs> Oh, this is a dream. Yeah. <laughs> I just got... <laughs> I was like, damn. But then when That's I woke up, I was like, letter. dude, it probably, like, if anything, it probably made the Xbox better. But, dude, Austin... Whoa. Austin left the shit, so I don't feel bad about it anymore. But, like, I just wanted to point out, like, can you believe the 180 that Nintendo has taken dude. on us from going from, like, don't you ever play our stuff on the internet to please we'll give you money to play any of our games yeah, at all. Like, what the hell? I also feel like we should have a conversation about the fact that Mathis is 34, 35 years old and uh, he just tweeted, Peach is my waifu. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably got a body pillow. Over also, too. I don't want to give uh, Nintendo too much credit. Why? Because it's Twitch Prime. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't we take some time yeah, to temp our athlete. channels? We'll start with uh, Corey. Doing some MLB, doing some Gungeon, and uh, something on the Switch, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It could be anything, man. You don't even know what it is. On the Switch. Justin. Hi. I don't know what I'm doing yet. It's either going to be Baba as you. Oh. It might be some Nintendo online. <laughs> 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 uh, I kind of want to play Tetris 99 anyway, so it might be that. Bear Taffy. I am live on Twitch uh, in the mornings. How about you, Austin? He's pooping. Wait, My wait, name's wait. Dumb Dog. Woo, 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 woo. Roo, roo. Auto chess. 24 <laughs> wait, hours back? a day for the rest of my existence. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> Gungeon. Really fun to watch. I never lose, by the way. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm the greatest gamer. It's like he's here. Uh, Justin's too kind. He couldn't do it. <laughs> do what? You couldn't you couldn't rib on him with us. Listen, we were all in I, it together. I smiled. <laughs> <laughs> How about He's you, complicit. Mouse? You heard it. <laughs> Hello. You may find me at eoldtwitch.com slash Michael A.L. Fox, uh, youtube.tv slash Michael A.L. Fox, <laughs> and twitter.bizco.uk slash Michael A.L. Fox. So many people just got fucking banned. <laughs> what happened? We're trying to link to things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, don't do that. Um, well, I will hang up on you guys. Thanks for being here. It was a good quiplash in a stream in general. Yeah. Yeah. I'm dumb dog. <laughs> thanks for having me. Well, you know, <laughs> I love Bear. He, he, Always gives me something that allows me to slip out the door without awkwardly having to say goodbye again. He always gives me like a he throws like a smoke bomb and I'm like that's me running to my car. I crash into an electric pole. The lights are going out all over the neighborhood. Meteor crashes into the ground. Get out of the car. What's this? Oh, it's a freaking lightning alien, dude. What's going on? He's hitting me with his power of lightning. All of a sudden, I'm the new Thor. 